morning and welcome to the shipyard. My name is Mark Chinnery. I am the sales manager for Sunseeker International. And on this fantastic day, I'd like to take the opportunity to show you the new and exciting 88 yacht. As you can see, she's very special. You can see from the lines, you can see from the styling, the integrated boardwalk glazing, the new single piece hardtop with stainless detailing. It really is a head turner, whether in the marina or out at sea. Let's go on board and take a look. So the new 88, full of features, full of new design innovation. And one of the things which is very key on the 88 yacht is this new Extend system. De developed originally for the 90 Ocean, we've now designed it into the 88 yacht and effectively gives you two modes of use. First one is big large seats that will fold out and give you a beach club lounging area for the platform. And secondly, with the bifold balcony, the whole extend will, will lift up and effectively extend the cockpit. It's all about making the best use of space. Now on top of that, of course, any boat of this side, this size wouldn't be without a large bathing platform. Suitable for a tender, 4.6 meter Williams or something very, very similar. And of course, lots of integrated features throughout the boat, including passerelle, obviously, definitely required into, into the med. We have the options of drop-in carbon fiber showers and really is a host of uh, delight features that really pull the 88 together. So one of the biggest changes that you'll see in a lot of the larger Sunseeker models is really the use of loose furniture. We are typically very used to doing fixed GRP mouldings in, in all sorts of different styles. But as fashion changes, as boat design and innovation changes, it's about flexibility. And you can see on the 88 yacht, we've got some fantastic loose furniture. And part of the reason is when the extend is in the raised position, the furniture can be removed and can be moved around to create a really social environment. On top of that, of course, we have an integrated privacy screen electrically operated that will drop down and this is really fantastic for stern to mooring because apart from the wind and the sun if you're stern to mooring and you're not going out it gives you that real privacy element so you can sit and enjoy the cockpit and of course everybody likes to show the boat but it actually gives you some some private time without people looking from the key various other features of course we have an integrated sink so we've got a bit of a little mini wet bar integrated fridge in the aft cockpit as well, and also the option to put an ice maker on the other side. And of course, on the port side of the cockpit, very, very common request is to have an aft cockpit docking station. So you have full control, full engine control, bow and stern thruster. So stern to or even alongside, you've got a fantastic view all the way along the port side of the deck. So if we take a look forward, let's go and have a look at the foredeck. Well, as you can see, we have a lovely sized U-shaped seating, which is really nice for dining, particularly at anchor. And of course, a very, very large sun pad. Seats on the bow, really nice when you're cruising, even slow speed just to be facing forward plus lots of integrated storage. And of course, options you can't see, we have multiple parasol options to give you that shade and really make the use of all areas of the boat. The ATA yacht has the option of twin anchor windlasses with extensive amount of chain, you know, and I think with, with current environmental restrictions, quite often now you are, you do tend to find that you're, you're anchoring potentially more with in deeper water and actually twin anchors will give the ability with certain wind conditions. But you can see what really strikes you on the 88 is the styling. There's been a significant input in integrating some pretty radical styling, brand new hardtop design, single piece, all in black with lots of stainless detail, black coach roof. And you can see from the profile of the yacht, she really is an exciting, stunning looking yacht. So the 88 Flybridge, enormous size, full of flexibility and of course we have a full operational helm, navigation instruments, full engine thruster control and really a place when you're running, cruising, a fantastic area to be. Alongside the helm we've got a beautiful wraparound U-shaped seating and of course as we, as we go aft there's some new features on the ATA apart from the amazing hardtop that you can see we've developed this brand new stylish wet bar 
integrated LED lighting and really is a piece of furniture in its own right. The 88 of course has very large U-shaped seating for dining. We have the option to extend that seating to have rise and fall tables. So it almost off offers dual usage even if you want to put the tables down, fold the leaves in and you've got something a little bit more casual for, for drinks and cocktails. So heading aft, we have a very open aft flybridge deck. This particular boat is fitted with a large sun pad. And of course, above the sun pad, in the back, integrated into the hardtop, we have a retractable canopy to provide some fantastic shade. Or for those sun worshippers, we have the option of a new feature spa tub, which has integrated glazing on the aft face of the spa tub. And as you can see, there's no stainless rails aft. It's all glass. Partly, so where, whatever you're doing on the flybridge, you've got this fantastic view, but if you're sat in the spa tub facing aft, you can be lounging back, looking straight through the glass and straight through the glass balustrade as well. Other options, of course, available is a flybridge crane if you wanted to have a jet ski on the flybridge as well as the tender onto the platform. But what's really important for us is that the flybridge deck is very flexible. Nothing is built in with the exception of the forward element by the console. So we really have an element of flexibility to create a combination of fixed furniture or loose furniture and really satisfy the demands of every particular client. So let's take a look inside. But of course I must point out we have a beautiful flush threshold between the aft culprit in the saloon which is a really really nice when we're trying to make the best use of inside outside living without any trip hazards for, for anybody on board. And as we walk into the saloon it really hits you the amount of detail that you can see. A brand new layout for, for Sunseeker in particular on the 88 yacht is the first time that we've put the galley forward up by the helm. And what does it do? It creates a much larger saloon area. You can see we have an enormous sofa, integrated TV, and of course a beautiful dining area, which is partly separated. But it's also important to remember that only part of this furniture is fixed. We still have the ability to customize the sofa design and really cater for specific needs of each client. To separate the saloon and the dining, we have this beautiful integrated storage unit, which actually caters for the, the glassware storage, but also general storage as well. We're also integrating a wine cooler option in this corner unit here. But what's really important is if you start looking at the detail, if you take a look at the lack of detail in the doors, the cabinetry and the brassware that's fitted through the boat really is lifting the interior design to something to another level for Sunseeker and to take us forward in the future which you'll see on all new models. Another big feature you can see it's quite dramatic we've actually split the interior where the whole dining area has this dark smoked eucalyptus ceiling very dramatic and something that has been very well received by clients that have had the opportunity to come on board but of course it's not fixed. Again, that flexibility of somebody, if a client wanted a lighter ceiling, we can run the, the lighter white lacquers forward or soft lined as necessary. But I think for us, we really wanted to make a focal point, hence having a, a feature light above the dining table. It's a really about trying to make every element of the yacht interesting with special detail. So as I mentioned outside, one of the big features on the ATA is this integrated glass within the bulwark. Apart from a styling aspect externally, you can see on this particular boat we have an opening sliding door as the option. If you don't have the door, it's full height glass, but wherever you're sat here, if you're sat low, you can see through the glass and through the bulwark. So it really gives you an unhindered view of the horizon. And apart from anything else, injects so much light into the boat, which is really important now in today's yacht design. So as we come forward into the new forward galley, as we transit, we have an optional day head on the starboard side, which is incredibly useful, and into the helm and open garage area. But most important to point out that for nighttime navigation, or even when they're cooking foods, you have the ability to partition off the helm for navigation or, or even the galley space as well. So coming forward, we have a very well equipped helm area, Simrad navigation spec, we have multiple navigation options, twin helm seats, but you really have the full control of the entire yacht in this area, including the new Sunseeker CM8 control system, which controls by touchscreen every element of the yacht. And of course, we're in the galley space. As I said earlier, a brand new feature for Sunseeker, whether it's 
owner driver or crew operated it's about creating that flexibility now of course no galley wouldn't be without its appliances but most importantly storage so we have storage under the screen top as you can see lift up lids we've got multiple cupboards and obviously multiple appliance options on this boat you can see the wine cooler integrated sink with stone covered top dishwasher oven microwave and round the corner we have full height fridge freezer and we're even exploring the the options of having additional refrigeration next 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 to the uh, current unit so it really is a space that works we're developing uh, a beautiful blind system so it can try and keep the area cool we've increased the air conditioning spec because obviously with this amount of glazing even with windscreen covers on it will be warm so we've already updated and increased the air conditioning space. So when you're cooking, you're going to generate more heat, but it really becomes a space that works and is functional. Through the port side of the galley, there is also a sliding door access. So if you're serving food to guests at the dining table, they don't have to walk past the helm. They can actually transit through the door on the port side and serve food directly to the dining table. And as you can see from the galley, we've also got a pop-out side door to the side deck again crew access, guest access, and of course from that area you can then walk straight up the port side deck to the foredeck with your serving food or just an easier means of access. So from the central lobby we have a single staircase which provides access to all of the lower guest accommodation. Other yachts we've had dual access but we made a decision on the 88 to serve from a single staircase and you can see even from the staircase lining, feature linings, we've, we've created a brand new interior collection which is applicable to every model. And we've also implemented new features, new light fittings that we have never used before. And it's really important for us to create something fresh and a wow factor on every single boat. But let's take a look downstairs. Once we're down in the lower lobby, a beautiful light space, you'll notice throughout the interior there's been a particular focus on lighting. A lot more concealed lighting, the ability to dim high, low, low level feature lighting and really something that works at any time of the night or day. As we walk forward, a very typical layout, we have a forward VIP cabin, we have twin cabins either side of the central and a beautiful large full beam master cabin aft. Let's take a look at the forward VIP. So as we come up to the stairs, we've tried to create a VIP that is very, very close to the master cabin. It has its own feature lobby with a, some storage, feature mirror, and of course a privacy screen. So when the crew or other guests come straight in from the cabin door, you're not facing the bed. Prior to getting to the cabin, a beautiful ensuite, and you can notice again, there's a lot of detail that's been integrated into the design. The use of stainless detail, new, uh, new brassware for the doors, new brassware for the en suites. And of course, from the new collection, nothing is fixed. This boat is a very uh, simple decor, but use of very exclusive features. The smoked eucalyptus contrasts extremely well with some of the white stones that we're now implementing into the range. And you can see there's a real combination of, of topes and silvers as we walk through the boat. It makes the interior very, very dramatic. So as we come into the cabin space, we have a, a fantastic mirrored wardrobe door aft beautiful storage for, for clothes with drawers and open shelves. And then we're into even a more immense detail. This particular boat has a lot of beautiful leather, Whistler leathers installed, and the detail doesn't stop. Into the vanity, beautifully painted uh, trays for the, for the vanity units. And as you pan across, you can see wherever your eye takes you, there's something fresh, something new, and something very elegant that really pulls the cabin together. So the forward VIP has a large king size bed, nice little recessed leather bound trays with stainless trim detail so things aren't moving underway or even at anchor. Brand new light fittings you can see that are all part of the new collection and some integrated detail, as I said, wherever your eye takes you and it doesn't stop. We have a beautiful 55 inch TV in the forward VIP and to make the TV area a little bit more interesting, there's a lot of integrated new lack of features, more storage. Storage is vital on any yacht, and we try to integrate as much storage as we can. The silver eucalyptus gray theme has continued through the cabin, a very light, carp, cab, very light carpet, 
It really gives you the feeling of a, an amazing space and something that we're very proud of. So in the midships we have twin cabins port and starboard and on the port cabin we also have the option of an electric sliding mechanism to bring the berths together. This gives you the ability to form a double bed in lieu of two singles which could be fantastic for private use but really good option for charter use as well. So let's take a look at the master cabin as we walk aft. Just before we get to the master cabin it's important to point out that we've also integrated storage in the lower lobby. Now this serves two purposes because quite often a lot of clients are saying where do I put the towels, where do I put the bed linen? So we have a beautiful cupboard, full height cupboard that will be used for general stores or particularly bed linen and towels and we also have the option in the lower lobby to, to fit an additional appliance. Now quite often that might be extra refrigeration or even a washer dryer for some clients that like to do uh, their, their own laundry. But let's come into the master cabin. It really has a wow factor. Full beam, the feeling of space in the master cabin is, is simply amazing. And of course, as you pan around, as we've seen in the Ford VIP cabin, it's not without its detail. We've been consistent in the approach, but what we wanted to do was create something very dynamic and very, very interesting. Very large king size bed, storage unit across the port side, and new features, lighting as you can see, whether it's a table lamp, wall lights. And on the port side, we've got a couple of options as well. This particular boat has a stunning vanity unit very similar to the Ford VOP, which could double up as a, as a working desk or just simply somewhere for uh, the, the guests to do their makeup. Or we have the option of a beautiful L-shaped sofa in this area, which means you have a smaller drawer unit as well. The amount of glass you can see through the boat, it's very much as uh, integral to yacht design now. And we, we have always tried to inject as much natural light into all the cabin spaces as we can. As we walk forward, we have a very beautiful large walk-in closet, four height hanging, beautiful drawer space, and of course, some uh, shelving space as well. And this leads you nicely into a fantastic ensuite with its own hull glazing, very large shower. We have the option as well to fit a bidet if required next to the toilet. And like the forward, we have double basins, top box mirrored storage as well as lower storage. So wherever you go on the boat, we've tried to inject as many storage abilities as possible. So a very well configured engine room here on the 88 yacht. This particular boat is fitted with the 12V MTU engines, which are the upgraded 1950 horsepower. The 88 yacht base engine is the 10V, slightly lower horsepower, which still gives fantastic performance um, and probably slightly more fuel efficient. A full array of options, we've tried really hard to accommodate most of the ma major systems and machinery into the engine room space. Everything is about noise sensitivity and it was important for us to try and pull as much machinery out of the accommodation spaces under floor into the engine room itself. Very well laid out, very, very good for airflow. We also have the option to add a storage cage, which is nice for spares and oils and things. Of course, it gives you plenty, plenty of space. And most importantly for us, serviceability, making sure that all the pump systems, the air conditioning systems, generator, fluid services, everything's got to be accessible. And as you can see from the 88 Yacht, we've achieved that. So there's a walkthrough, there's a brief introduction to the very special 88 Yacht. Please contact your local dealer for more information and we really look forward to seeing you very soon.